We like a long vacation for me right now, but uh, I think this is the last game, and uh, then I'm going to have some time to, to think about it, and then uh, perhaps I'm going to understand that it's, uh, I'm also an old former player. Long vacation until now. Your new life will start soon. What will it be like? I don't know. Uh, I think it's going to be a, a big change, of course, but uh, I think it's the right point for me to do this change uh, now, and I'm uh, really happy to, to do that with the young kids in Sweden to uh, be a handball coach for them. What will it be like exactly, this new task for you? I will train in a sport, uh, sport school handball for 16, uh, 17, 18 years old with girls and boys, and uh, that will be my primary. Okay, let's speak about the past a little bit, because it's all about the past today, maybe. Yeah. Um, you came to Germany in 1998, and in Kiel one year later. What did you expect of your stay in Germany when you arrived in, the, in the, those days? I think I, I, I said I want to take this chance. Uh, it's a big adventure. When it's not working, you can always go back. It's a little bit of uh, security, I think. but. Uh, Otherwise, uh, I was in a little bit older, about 28 years old, and I wanted to try the best league in the world, uh, and for me that was uh, the Bundesliga. And if you look at it now, did you uh, expect it like this, or was it a big surprise how it all came, finally? Uh, it was a big surprise that I was staying here for 10 years. I think uh, that was nothing that I had in my head, but uh, I'm really happy that it went that way because uh, not only me, because all the family was really happy here and the time with their children in Kiel. It was really a great time. The time in Kiel, 10 years, a really long time, as you say. Would you say that you were part of an era? Yes, I think I can say that. Uh, it was a great era. We won a lot of titles and had a, uh, had a great time, uh, but not only with the sport uh, as well with the private. Your career started much earlier. Of course, today we have to speak about your best memories of your career, maybe also apart from results or from success. What do you prefer to look at? Which moment would you pick out? It's really difficult to take those moments. We have the national team, and you have the first win with something here in Kiel, or you have the last game, and it's all a lot of things. But I think I'm most satisfied with the, that I managed to play 10 years in this club in a really high level. Do you re regret anything? Did you miss anything? Or was there a bad point in your life where you said maybe, or in your career, where you said that's not how it should be? When you have the injuries and the, that's the way it is in sport, uh, then of course it's not so uh, it's not so nice. And uh, some games, when you lose some games, that's also not nice. But that's sport, and that's uh, the wins you're gonna have in your head afterwards. You started professional handball in the early nineties, and um, you played for 20 years almost, almost 20 years. If you could compare handball, the sport 20 years ago, to maybe the handball in the late 90s when he came to Germany and handball now, how did it change? Uh, it's really difficult to describe because when you played it and you were uh, in the middle of it, it's, uh, the changes came uh, year for year, but of course the handball is much better today, it's quicker and everything is going so fast. The young players are coming up today with a really great, better physique and, uh, as uh, our generation had, so I think it's going to be a, a Oh, further, uh, further, uh, the same thing in the in the future. But uh, it's everything is feel feel faster. Mm -hmm. And uh, the surroundings, marketing of handball. Marketing of handball and also the spectators, the the, the sport halls and the arenas are much better and great. And I think the, the handball is uh, doing a really great job there. You won a lot of titles in your career. What would you say is the most precious one? I think when we won the European Championship uh, in Sweden, because it was a lot of pressure for us to win that tournament, and we did that, and that was a great feeling to, to win uh, in the capital of Sweden and uh, with so a lot of Swedes uh, following us. That was that was really great. The only thing missing, the Olympic title. <laughs> yeah, that's missing, and uh, to, to be in a couple of finals and uh, to stand there with the silver, it's it's not bad, but it's uh, I would like to have uh, the possibility to change it, but it's not going to come. Okay, what does it mean to you if players like Nikola Kajbatic, for example, say that you are their role model? I think it's great. I think it's. Uh, it shows that I have a, had a good career, and uh, when Nicolas says he does not uh, mean sport uh, as a person as well, and uh, I'm, re I'm really proud when I play like Nicolas said something like that. Mm -hmm. Nikhil, you mostly played uh, with the number 10 as the playmaker. 
How would you describe yourself? Uh, have you been uh, Löwe, as they say in German, aggressive, wild, or Löwe in Swedish, rather softly, rather smooth? I would say I would be rather softly and smooth. And, uh, I think uh, I'm not the one who's uh, running around and uh, keeping all the times uh, rather smooth. Then. Was uh, handball always joy for you, or sometimes work? No, it's it's always been joy. I always had fun, but of course it's a work as well. But if you don't have this uh, joy and, and fun, I don't think you can uh, work on. So for me, it was uh, until the last game joy. Mm -hmm. How often you look, you live in Sweden now? Yeah. Often uh, will you take the ferry to Kiel? I think I will be here <laughs> sometimes in Germany as well, and I I am uh, I wanted to to stay in the handball scene in some ways, and of course I'm going to take the ferry to Kiel. So what will your relation be like with Kiel in the future? I think it's going to be a strong relation, not only for me, for the family, our uh, children is uh, here. Uh, oh, wait, oh. What do you say? Gibora. Born? Oh, our children <laughs> is born here and everything, so we have a lot of friends here. And, uh, and exactly, I know, I love this town and uh, I think a lot of people love me as well here. And what does the club for you mean, Thierry Kiel? For me, it's it's more than, it's more than a club. It's really something uh, in my heart now after these ten years, and uh, so it's going to be for the future as well. Let's speak about the evening. You selected, you composed the team, the lineups. Why did you choose these players, and uh, which players did you want to choose? I think I wanted to choose players where you have someone, uh, you played with some of them, and you have them as an opponent. But uh, players, they really are correct and uh, fair play type. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose, but after the game it's always fair play and that's the thing with all those players who are playing here tonight. Who was your favorite teammate in your career? No, you can pick out two if, or three if you want. No, I can pick one and I think uh, I have to say Andrei Lavrov. Uh, my first year in Germany uh, I played with Andrei and it was uh, fantastic. And, and we had a lot of a lot of games against each other with the national teams as well and uh, it's a f fantastic relation with him. Was there an opponent you hated to play against? Not because he was a bad guy, but because he was maybe such a good handball player? No, hate I would not say, but he was really difficult to play, of course. And uh, he's, uh, he has a big uh, big spot in my career because I lost the Olympic finals against him. Who? Andre Lavrov. Ah, yes. Okay, and about the coaches? I mean, you had several coaches, not so many, maybe, because uh, in here there was the same coach for a long time. Yeah. Who uh, was the most important coach for you? Yeah, I think it's two coaches. Uh, Noka, of course, in Kiel. He made me from uh, to the to the playmaker and uh, the Swedish coach Ben Johansson. Uh, I played under him uh, a lot of years when we had success with the Swedish. And those those two two tra trainers are the most important for me. Can we see you once as a coach, maybe as well in handball? I don't know. It's nothing uh, that I've been planning, and uh, but who knows what's uh, coming in the future. Mm -hmm. Let's speak about the evening, finally, or the afternoon. What will it be like for you? A lot of surprises coming up? Yeah, I don't know everything, what's, uh, what they have been planning, but uh, the games uh, and of course it's going to be uh, some surprises and uh, some speech speeches as well. And uh, I'm, re I'm, I'm really a little bit nervous with this one, <laughs> I have to say. More nervous than uh, before great games in your career? More nervous than for the great games in my career, yes. Okay, finally, if uh, you're going to leave Kiel in a couple of days, will there be a tear in your eye maybe? I think it's going to be a tear in my eye today, not by leaving in a couple of days, but today when I leave the arena, I think it's going to be a couple of tears, yes. Wish you all the best, Fred. Thanks a lot. Thanks.